Greetings, this is greetings, this is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. My talk today focuses on uh, what I call the uh, the Tesla 2170 battery sweepstakes to see who will be allowed to get scale volume 2170 batteries for their truck solutions. Bonjour Vigues, Fistes Nokimos, Fibon and Strasviche. Nihal Ma, this is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Um, we're along the Potomac in Alexandria, Virginia today. And unfortunately, it's the part of the jet path, but it's a nice view. So you guys got to work with me today. Thank you. Um, so as we're rotating towards the end of the month of September announcement of uh, the Tesla semi-truck solution as well as the uh, the partner or partners who are going to help deliver that solution it's a fascinating situation because um, this entire uh, discussion this entire discussion should not be happening and the reason is that as we've covered many times uh, Tesla was pretty much saved by uh, business that they had with Mercedes. Um, I mean, if we go back through the, the Mercedes history with Tesla, it starts, I guess, in 2008. Mercedes approached Tesla for at least one, if not several thousand small battery packs to support their smart car. After ordering these battery packs, Tesla actually uh, was able to get a $50 million investment from both uh, Toyota as well as, um, as Mercedes. And in addition, um, the relationship Toyota yielded their current factory. So we, if we follow this on, um, in, you know, Tesla has a relationship with Mercedes re regarding the B-Class. Um, around about 2014 um, Tesla and Mercedes seemed to come to a we need to part company situation um, basically Tesla reduced the number of board seats kicking Mercedes off the board and Mercedes sold their uh, ownership stake uh, for the last piece of it was for 700 million dollars and I believe for four percent of Tesla um, and so I thought it was evident that both sides recognized that the future included them being perhaps partners in some ways, but mostly competitors. So now we're in a situation where um, the 2170 battery is ready to go. It's ready to be part of a, t a truck solution. Um, based on the comments made by senior managers at Mercedes, on the truck side and electric side, they seem to feel that Tesla has no choice but to select them as their partner because of the global footprint of Mercedes, both cars and trucks, and the ability to provide all kinds of support to um, end users of, uh, of these batteries and trucks, etc. Now, as you guys may recall, what I've pointed out is that um, while Mercedes feels that it has an advantage in the relationship with Tesla, I don't believe the advantage is all that Mercedes says it's cracked up to be uh, for just two reasons. Number one is that unlike an ICE or internal combustion engine, you know, the electric solutions um, don't require as many moving parts and therefore the mechanic training and, and customer sort of parts, et cetera, et cetera, that you need to do is reduced dramatically. So I believe therefore that um, Mercedes thinks that they have an advantage when it comes to customer relationships around the world that they can leverage on behalf of Tesla and therefore they're the better solution. I kind of disagree with this because the fact of the matter is that there's a bidding war on right now and only fleet buyers are gonna be able to get both the battery and the trucks that go with it. These fleet buyers 
have so many vehicles that if they choose to, they can become their own service entity for the vehicles that they're getting, batteries, et cetera, et cetera, especially with the reduced battery count when it comes to electric. So this brings us to um, where we're at now in 2017. Um, Tesla and Mercedes broke up in terms of a, a board seat. They're still working together in terms of batteries and smaller trucks and vans. They're still um, you know, interfacing in a lot of ways. And the question is, are they going to lock in, um, you know, I want to say permanently with the truck solution uh, where Mercedes wins the right to, to be um, the vendor for the 2170 battery in a truck form? And if they do, this gives Mercedes at least a five, if not eight year advantage on all other truck manufacturers because of how dramatic the 2170 battery impacts trucking. Unlike the 18650 battery, um, the 2170 weighs perhaps half as much and is twice as powerful. So in a truck uh, form factor, you know, every ounce of weight represents freight that can be hauled and um, the lower cost allows it to be competitive with ICE engines um, over the normal life cycle of, of a truck. So all this said, um, whoever it is that wins the partner sweepstakes with Tesla on, on the truck side is in a great position compared to competitors who don't have battery capacity and don't have access to the thermal management and 2170 battery. So, So an interesting new development just occurred, which is with Cummins announcing their battery, or truck battery solution, uh, and the nature of the battery and the supercharger capability and the thermal management system suggesting that they may have, have some kind of a Tesla relationship, it'll be interesting to see both who this partner is gonna be that's helping Tesla interface with uh, the fleet buyers, number one, and number two, is this partner Mercedes or is Tesla going to spread the batteries among a couple of different partners? Um, Mercedes should be the complete winner here, icing out everyone because of the global footprint. But because they are competitor to um, Tesla in cars, I think uh, Cummins may actually win the partner battle because they provide all of the relationship access globally that uh, Tesla might want to deal with. They have relationships when it comes to the power management systems because they're doing diesel engine backup power uh, circumstances which could become sort of Tesla battery solutions. They also don't compete with Tesla in cars. So I believe Cummins would actually be an excellent partner on the truck side for Tesla uh, with the only drawback being that Mercedes has a relationship for trucks in the class six and down to vans and minivans uh, with Tesla batteries already. So it might be a drawback, but to some extent, there's a good reason why Tesla may wanna, not want to fuel a competitor that's working to build car solutions that will end up competing with Tesla's primary business of uh, electric cars, uh, you know, minivans, mini trucks, etc. So. The other question is there may actually be a dark horse uh, provider that we don't know of, or there's a small chance that Mercedes or Tesla may choose to go direct to their uh, end users and just retrofit trucks. I mean, that's possible, but I don't think that's very likely, especially since you know Tesla really doesn't have the manufacturing space right now or resources to provide a truck uh, facility to build out these um, these truck solutions right now. So I want to call this the Tesla 2170 uh, truck battery sweepstakes. The biggest likely winner of these sweepstakes I believe is going to be Mercedes-Benz but there are a bunch of reasons why Tesla may want to spread that around because providing 
excess revenue to what could end up being your largest competitor doesn't make sense. I think um, Mercedes-Benz has sort of, or, or Daimler-Benz has done a poor job of relationship management. Number one, they introduced a Powerwall competitive product. Number two, they have a Gigafactory they're putting up. Number three, um, you know, they have an inside look at Tesla's uh, battery process that others don't because of their board position. So they have a keen understanding of the competitive advantage. And then number four is something else that popped up recently is that uh, Mercedes owns 50% of a, I think, Li Kai. It's a, um, a lithium battery pr producer in Korea. And Tesla has, or Mercedes or Daimler-Benz has signed a contract to now start getting batteries from this facility next year. And I thought it was interesting when this announcement came down because not only did they say they were going to be getting batteries, but what they also said was they weren't getting thermal management systems, which suggests that Mercedes has now re-engineered their own solution on this side to be able to come after Tesla more. So, so there are some interesting doings when it comes to the 2170 battery in the truck space. And I think all the answers to this will be here. Uh, it's now the first week of September 2017. Uh, by October 1, I think we'll know the answer to all these questions. And um, I, I think it's going to be a bombshell because whoever's left out of this partnership is really going to be hard pressed to put out truck uh, solutions that are competitive with the product offerings of Tesla for another two, three, maybe four years. So stay tuned. Look forward to your comments. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Tschüss, uh, Max. Gut. Au revoir. Tout à l'heure. Le Heathrow. Please like and subscribe.